Hi, I'm Jonathan, CNO and co-founder of Bits Technology. I've co-founded Bits together with Robin and Frederick last year, and we are on a mission to simplify the complexity in onboarding users in multiple markets and industries. So Bits is a powerhouse for customer and business identity. And the problem that we are solving is that Europe as a market is highly fragmented. It's totally different what data you need in, to onboard customers in France or Germany compared to Sweden or Finland, for example. And the teams out there are spending months and sometimes even years of building and maintaining the integrations to service provider that's needed to onboard their customers successfully and compliantly. And this market is huge. It's actually estimated to be valued about 70 billion euro in Europe alone by 2027. But it's no, not only about the, the big market opportunity. It's about the fundamentals of society, like anti-money laundering or combating financing to terrorism. So why is this a problem then? I mean, as I mentioned, Europe as a market is highly fragmented. The data that you need in different markets are completely different. It's different market standards, different regulations, different data sources that's needed, and all of this impacts the fragmentation significantly. The problem is really massive all across Europe. So what's our solution to the problem then? When you enter Bits Technology, we provide you with all the tools that you need to successfully onboard your customers. We do all of the heavy lifting of integrating providers so that you only need to do one integration to Bits and get all of the, all of the access to all of the data sources and providers to successfully manage your onboarding processes. So the first product that I'm going to show you here is our Intuity Workflow Builder. With the Bits Workflow Builder, you get access to all of the capabilities that's needed to successfully onboard customers. So in this case, we have picked the first market, which is Sweden. We start the onboarding flow by checking the user's identity. And in this case, we are using Swedish Bank ID, since that's the market leading provider for ID verification in Sweden. We then continue the flow with doing a PEP check to check if our users are politically involved or not. And in that case, they might need a different route in the onboarding. After the PEP check, we continue the flow by doing a check towards the sanction list, because to make sure to not onboard any sanctioned users to the platform. And both the PEP and sanction check can be done asynchronously in the background so that we get time to ask our users a couple of due diligence questions. The due diligence questions were handled by our own service that we call the Bits Questionnaire Builder. And in the Bits Questionnaire Builder, you get access to a bank of a couple of hundred DD questions that are templated into every kind of market and industry standards so that you can make sure to always ask the right questions for your specific products. So what you see here is a typical KYC flow for onboarding customers to a financial service in Sweden. And when you're growing your business to multiple markets, instead of starting from scratch, search for providers, adding the integrations one by one to each of the service providers, you can just copy paste the flow that you have on your core market. Do that for all of your markets across Europe. So the Bits Workflow Builder gives you access to all of the data source for each and every market in Europe. And as soon as you have built out your preferred flow in the Workflow Builder, you just upload your logos, your font, your branding assets to the Bits platform, and we, in real time, generate a no-code solution for you so that you can start onboarding your customers immediately in real time. It's tailored in your specific branding, your color, your fonts, and even the tone of voice when it comes to the due diligence questions, so that you seamlessly can integrate the Bits flow into your product. Another product that we have launched is our comprehensive reporting systems. With the Bits reports, you get access to all of your users and their data in one single view. So instead of collecting data sources for different third-party dashboards or logs or anywhere where you store the data, you get everything in one view collected for the compliance and risk departments. And you can do it over time. You can set up rules to do a re-KYC every six months or at the cadence that your business requires. You can request a copy of the passport or a driver license, or you can just ask the customer 
to validate all of the answers that they filled in the last time you did the Rika AOC. And if we look at the horizon, at the moment our product and engineering teams are working hard on our data and insights product. And with the bits insight, you get, for the first time ever, access to compare your conversion rates and onboarding flows with all of the market standards and needs. So that as soon as you see that your, your product performing less than the market standard, we get you the tools and access so that you can do small adjustments to your flow and get up to par with the market standards on each and every part of your onboarding flow. All of this without any need of new integration work or development work or any downtime of your service. This is really a game changer for onboarding customers across Europe. So where are we as a company today? BIT was founded last year in August 2022, so we just celebrated one year as a company. We have raised a total of 5 million euro in venture capital over two rounds. One pre-seed round led by Sherry Ventures and a seed round led by Unusual Ventures. We are a team of 15 incredible builders and have just launched a product, so we are live with a handful of customers in Europe. And at the moment, our team are laser focused on our go-to-market strategy, working hard to bring our product to a wider audience across multiple markets in Europe and take it to the next level. That was all for me today. Thank you.